With the creation of 14 new cardinals comes the need for new attire for the latest princes of the church. Vatican correspondent Juliet Lindley met the man who makes the cardinal's scarlet vestments. Hidden away in the heart of Vatican City, behind an unassuming doorway, I find a tailor like no other. Etty Ciccioni used to create high fashion gowns and robes. Today his creative focus is on handcrafting cardinal's vestments. Nell'alta moda si continua, si cambia continuamente. Etty says the world of fashion is constantly changing, but the world of cardinal's vestments hasn't changed in centuries. Pope Gregory X installed scarlet as the color for cardinals in the 13th century. And Etty, as you just explained to me, there's so much symbolism in this costume. The color, the red, representing the blood that a cardinal would shed to defend his faith. And then these buttons, there are 33 buttons, and they represent the age at which Jesus Christ was crucified. Special garments are worn for a consistory, including a white rocher, usually made of lace or embroidered linen, a red cape known as the mozzetta, and a rigid biretta, which is worn over the zucchetto, the scarlet skullcap. Assistant Carmelo Candido helps Etty with some of the heavier work, and a lot of the hand stitching and embroidery is outsourced to dedicated seamstresses in Etty's hometown in central Italy. Etty has met Pope Francis twice, Pope Benedict baptized one of his children, and John Paul II gave Etty and his wife their wedding blessing. From top to toe, it takes four days to make a cardinal's vestments, and the cost is almost $1,500. The Vatican tailor, who also handcrafts the Swiss Guard's trademark uniforms, says creating clothes that so strongly symbolize the Catholic faith makes his soul soar. At the Vatican, Juliette Lindley, EWTN News Nightly.